Hi, my name is Kyle Reiser, Product Marketing Manager here at GE. What we're going to do in this short video is just walk you through the Proxy SCADA iPad application and how it works great with iFix Web Space or Simplicity Global View. The first step you want to do is launch the App Store, go into the search toolbar, type Prophecy, and your first hit you'll see is Prophecy SCADA. From there, you just want to simply install it and launch the application. Once the application is launched, you'll see on the left you have a host list, and on the right you have a list of details for each additional host that you have. So you can have a big list of hosts and just ad hoc connect to whatever host you choose. So in this case, we're going to type in 107 as the line, the last IP number, and the username and password, and in this case we're entering the administrator and, and the password. So what you'll see is a slew of different options. We can auto-launch to a specific part into the project. In this case, we've set up demo as the auto-launch point on the server. So we're then going to connect, and it's going to go to the server and instantly connect to the application that's running. And what you're presented with is a typical SCADA interface that you'd see in your thick client. And you'll notice some particular aspects of this screen. The real-time data, the typical graphics, no screen conversions required. It's the exact same screen that you see on your thick line. On this screen here that we've switched to, you'll also see that we have animations running, both blinking animations and animations of, of shapes. And on this screen, you'll see some shockwave flash running, just to prove that full featured is really what we're after here on your iPad device. So what we're going to do is just switch to English because this project has three different languages set up. And then we're going to navigate to the alarms. In the alarms, I'm just going to do some typical operator functions like acknowledge this one. Also going to acknowledge the one below it. And I want to add a comment to the one in red. You know, typical of operator functions here. So you'll see a comment already there. What we're going to do is add a second comment. And what we're going to do when we need the keyboard is hold down your finger. It invokes the toolbar. We're going to pin the toolbar and invoke the keyboard. So from here, you can enter a comment like IT has server down for updates. Disable the keyboard, and as you see, it dynamically zooms automatically for the pop-up setter in your application. So this dynamic zooming can be enabled and disabled in the feature settings. So another example of full functionality on your iPad is we're now going to go over to the graphs and trends. So within the graphs and trends, we're just showing a little pinch and zoom here so you can really zoom right into the actual section of the screen that you wish to see. We're showing real-time trends, but of course the same functionality works with historical trends or however you set up your application. The pinch and zoom is a global function, so it's just not uh, zooming into the trends. And we also added right-click ability, so if you do a two-finger tap, it's like a right-click on a normal desktop, and in this case it's bringing up the trend control properties in the window here, so you can change things on the fly. So in addition to this, what we do is once you disconnect from the server, um, it saves all your particular settings, and you can add favorites, rename them, it takes the, uh, takes the machine name so you can, can't forget it. And also when you quit the application and you relaunch it, you can enter right into the application really quick for ad hoc access. This really enables the operators to get mobile, enables engineers to see things at a glance, and perhaps even operations and management to see how things are going or view a particular set of screens for them to enable them to be mobile as well. 
thanks for viewing this short demo of how the Prophecy Skate app brings full-featured HMI SCADA to your iPad. Thank you.